Harvard, and today I'm going to read about the story. And this is a collaboration with Harvard Lesson and the Bible Smith. So you can check my site, my channel, in the description. Please subscribe. <laughs> and today we're going to read the In the Beginning Creation of the World. Let's read. We live in a beautiful world. Just look at the wonderful things around you. Let's go back to the beginning and see what the Bible tells us about how it all began. So we live in a beautiful wor world. Just you can also think that if you see around you, like there's a tree outside. And grass over then. So we'll see what happened and what happened so that these has came to the world. We'll see uh, from the beginning in the Bible what tells us. beginning God made the heavens and the earth. God moved over the darkness and set light. He called the day and uh, he called the light day and he called the darkness night and that was that for day one. So in the beginning God made the heavens and the earth and God moved over the darkness and God set this is the light and he called the light day and called the darkness night. It was the day one. The night day. Then God made a space to separate the waters above from the waters below. He called the space sky. And that was that for day two. So then God made a space to separate the waters above from the waters below. So he called the space sky. And that was day two. God gathered the waters together and the ground, dry ground appeared. He called the ground black and the water and the water ceased. Then he made plants like grass, grain, and trees. And that was that for day three. And God made this when the day three got made. God gathered the waters together and there was a dry ground. So he called the dry ground land and he called the water seas. So at the day street, God also made plants like grass, grains, and trees. And that was the day for a day, day street. What did God make on day one? Number one, the light and the darkness. Number two, the tree and the street, the animals. Number one was the correct answer. Then God made lights in the sky. He made the suns for the day, the moon for the night, and all the stars. And that was that for day four. 
So then God made lies and the sky. And he made the sun for the day and the moon for the night. And he also made the stars. Do you like stars? I really like stars. It's beautiful, right? And that was that for day four. God made fish to swim in the waters and birds to fly in the sky. Have babies, he told them. Fill the world with splashing and singing. And that was that for day five. So God made fish to swim in waters and the birds to fly in the sky. So he made the sea animals and birds birds and sea animals so God said to have babies and fill the world and that was day five Make animals. He made farm animals, wild animals, and animals that crawl on the ground. Just one more thing to make. God said the most special things of all. So the next, God made animals like farm animals, wild animals, animals that crawl on the ground. He made many animals and. God said the one last special thing is love. Do you, what do you think is the special thing? So let's see the most special thing of all in the next page. God made man and woman. He have babies. He said, I look after the world, care for the fish, the birds, and the animals. And that was that for day six. So at the day six, God made man and woman in His image. So the most special thing was the man and woman, you and me. So God said, take care of the whole, this world, and so we're made of God's image, and that was the day six. <laughs> Were the animals the most special thing God made? No, it was us, the man and the woman. God said the most special thing is man and woman. He made us in his image. Then God looked at everything what he had made. It's very good, he said. So on seventh day he rested and made that stay that day special. And that was that. So then God looked everything what he had made. He, it was so wonderful and it was very good. So on the seventh day he rested and made that day the special day.
action, God was pleased with his creation, and he rested on the seventh day. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye!